Where do I start at? I was saving this one in the bag. I needed a million followers, man. I ain't even gonna say that. I wasn't even gonna say that to your ass because I know you personally, man. And I know I, I, I wasn't gonna say that. Some of you niggas, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not say that, but you know you gotta put that super respect in that bounce on shit. Yeah, yeah. We gather here today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get a moment of silence. Whew. I could do this. But Misha Ridge, a rising star in Sacramento, who was killed. But you don't know the real story, and I'm about to give it to you. Well, actually, all you got to do is Google case text Misha Ridge, and you can get it for yourself. The wrong man is in jail. The wrong, the baby daddy did not kill Misha Ridge. Lee Williams Trig did. The only problem is he went to the police first and twisted the story. Just like he twisted the shotgun and shot Misha. Nigga, you lying to me. You know I used to fuck with you, nigga. Well, I used to fuck with them. And they used to fuck with you. But when that shit happened, nigga, you know I'm going to start off personally what you told me, nigga. What you told us. Because I'm going to tell you what, what we told each other, nigga. When we heard what happened and we heard you was present on the night of that murder. And we knew you, you we said, hee hee hee. Because you know we like to hee hee hee. We said, let's go get this nigga trig. You feel me? And see what this nigga, his side of the story about what happened, nigga. And nigga, we jumped in the car three deep, nigga. And saved the seat for you in the front, nigga. So you could tell us your fake ass story. And you know what? I ain't gonna lie, nigga. I felt sorry for you. I know you retarded. I felt like, nigga, we was taking you to get a check. And I thought it was because of mental health. But nigga, you was getting that witness protection program, nigga. Victims of a violent crime check, bitch. Woo. Listen, ain't no reason. Ladies and gentlemen, that girl should be dead and her baby daddy in jail for the rest of his life over some bullshit, over some domestics, nigga. Nigga, the paperwork say, Trig, you got that motherfucking gun, nigga. It escalated. Woo. Hell no, man, I ain't with you evil niggas. I'm telling God right now. Woo. Tell the truth, nigga. Yeah, we asked you. We felt sorry. You know what you told me? I'm going to tell you the story, nigga. I'm going to tell you exactly what you told me and the homies. Whew. Whew, whew, whew. Yeah. You told the motherfucking homies, nigga. And me. That nigga slid that shotgun in you. Through that window. And shot Misha. While she was laying next to you, nigga. And you was like, thank God it wasn't me. And we was like, ooh, that's a cold story, nigga. Ooh, you lucky. That ain't what you told them investigators and them damn police, motherfucker. Ooh, I'm on your ass, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Listen, anybody fucking with me, nigga, it's always cool to pay the piper up front. It's okay. Nigga, but I ain't keeping you motherfucking secrets for free out here, man. Them shits don't live rent free. This house, nigga, ain't motherfucking free. I remember vividly what the streets did to me. I grew up with Misha across the street. You feel me? With him, with her, her cousins. They was all light skinned, beautiful people. And my nigga Zeke, see, every day we used to do karate with each other and shit when we was innocent kids, nigga. I'm going to tell you right now, before we get to anything, she'd still be alive if it wasn't for your bitch ass, nigga. Yeah. Tell the truth, nigga. Tell, them, tell the homies what you told them motherfucking investigators, bitch. See? You gonna really lie to them? You feel me? No, no, no. You gonna really tell the truth to them and lie to us about telling them, telling people and everything, nigga? Bruh, once they got your ass on paperwork, they just be like, tell us some more shit, nigga. Or we gonna tell that you was telling everything. It ain't no one and out, nigga. It ain't a one time deal. This nigga been telling, ladies and gentlemen, like every other trick. But we gonna get to that. I could go back on you, Gary. 
Yeah, you was a telling ass nigga too. Tell him what you did, Gary. See, back in the day, when I came up, them niggas was pulling your paperwork before you could trick us and manipulate us and you feel me, American gangster nigga, bro. These niggas is TV thugs. Check it out though, back to the story. Woo, this the case takes now. You feel me? It say, Trig Lee Williams, LW, it's going to abbreviate the witnesses anytime you look on case text and they trying to protect the witnesses. Made a few statements, man. He had to flip that story, man. Listen, why you break down the gun, nigga, and put it in the towel, nigga, and wipe it off, nigga, and give it to the family? You know? Hey, bro, everybody knew what was going to happen. You just twisted the story a little bit. But even in the story and investigators, you told the investigators, nigga, first, he had the gun. Then you said, you had the gun. At the end, you end up still having the gun. You told us Misha got shot in the bed. Niggas, Misha got shot in the face telling y'all to chill. And who was chilling? Nigga, it's saying the paperwork, nigga. You tried to manhandle her baby daddy and he wasn't having it because you a little nigga. So you reached for that motherfucking gun that the witnesses and everybody else said. You knew that motherfucker was under that bed, punk. Nigga, to escalate, bruh. Because you one of them niggas that like to fight over bitches. Ooh. Just like Gary and them did. Over bitches. Gary went to jail for getting high and drunk telling the bitch he finna come shoot up her house because she had another nigga in and didn't want to fuck with him. He didn't tell y'all that. And then had tricked the homie because he was broke to give him a ride. I need a ride, nigga, to a bitch house that didn't want him there. Nigga that he had just told he gonna kill the bitch and come shoot up her house. And she called her dad and her dad watched the whole thing, nigga. But the problem is, nigga, when Trey ran, nigga, he just gave himself up and told them everything, even about the nigga that took him. So they arrested my nigga too. But my nigga dead. Yeah, we sat in jail, me and Nar, not being able to go to Art's funeral together. I read that paperwork on your bitch ass, nigga. Yeah, you didn't tell them you went to, went to jail for harassing a bitch that didn't want your ass, nigga. You was broke. Right when Art died, crying, needing help. Nigga, give me a ride. And the nigga had to leave out his fresh bed with his bitch to help a friend. But you really ain't a friend. You a snake, nigga. And you took your ass over there with a gun and shot the bitch house up, nigga. Over a nigga some dick, nigga, she, was, she chose to have. And she told her dad and they watched the whole thing. And the worst part about it is, nigga, you just admitted everything, nigga. Hey, you got me, nigga. Yep. Yep. Then my nigga brought me over here. You don't know, nigga, that's a felony. They wouldn't booked him. He lost everything. Every time somebody fuck with Trig, everybody else get in trouble. We ain't seeing that. That's what these fake niggas do to the hood. Because they really ain't been from here. Ain't grew up with us. They don't know a thing. So they come in and try to pull up the roots of the garden, nigga, and plant their weeds, bitch. Wake up, people, please. Okay, but let's get back to you, Lee. You, Lee talking shit. You told on yourself. You seen I posted that Misha video. You know what was coming next. How y'all niggas be getting mad at me for posting case text, nigga? It's called case text, nigga. This is shit. That mean we pay taxpayers. Pay for you to get prosecuted and everything to go through a court system that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars for your broke ass and the shit trouble you made. The fact of the matter is, Misha would be here if you wasn't there trying to cause trouble, man. Why you wasn't on with your own kids, man? When that baby dad came in and seen you there, you tried to escalate the situation. And she got shot probably on accident. But it's still from your negligence, nigga. The only reason the baby daddy in jail is because you spun that story, you bitch, nigga. And when it come down to motherfucking case text and the law, all you need is proof that, oh, the daddy, baby daddy, they break in at night. They was fighting, so yeah. At the end of the day, the burden of proof is on him. Plus, you done went and told the investigators everything. You laid out the case for him, nigga. And then you tried to then you tried to run and disappear and become a hostile witness. But you had told everybody. And guess when this is permissible? When a crime happens and somebody involved directly tells somebody else. <laughs> yeah, that hearsay is admissible. So everybody you told that to could go straight to him because you just ran and told everybody and spent your story. The nigga killed the nigga. You pulled out that motherfucking shotgun and nigga had accidentally blew her off the face when y'all was struggling for her after you couldn't beat the nigga up. Man.
I'm out of here, man. Y'all have a nice day. Pull that case tax up, nigga. Misha Ridge. Case tax, man. Let's get her baby daddy out of jail. He got to raise the kids, man. You see what I'm saying? This shit didn't go that way. The DA just said, hey, it's just easy because he broke in. But the baby daddy and the baby mama, man, we don't get in the middle of that shit, trick. Oh, no, bitch ass nigga. Hey, nigga, this your baby mama and your uh, nigga ain't. <laughs> Come on, bro. I'm out of here, yep. Let's do it moving. We on some play shit, nigga. Why you didn't go back home with your kids and your bitch, nigga? Y'all out here fighting over bitches. See, it always be over. And I ain't mean to call her that because she was a beautiful woman. You feel me? And it ain't wrong for that. It's wrong when you niggas turn around and try to control the situation. You feel me? Period. Point blank. That wasn't your house. That wasn't your home. You was trying to defend. You see what I'm saying? You was trying to be tough, nigga. You a fake tough nigga. And that's why Misha ain't here. Nigga, you pulled out that shotgun. He didn't put it through no window and just shoot her. Come to find out, you niggas was tussling over it. In her room. Ha! <laughs> Imagine that, bro. You feel me? And now that man nigga is in jail for life, nigga, of a story you told. You done broke the gun and gave it to everybody. Nigga, you had your hands on that gun, nigga. Nigga, we not stupid, bro.